از یوری کا ہوں اللہ فی منا میں کا قلیل ریکال ون اللہ سبان و تعالی و شوئنگ ٹو یو او محمد ان یور ڈریم دی اینمی ایس سمال ون آؤ دیر کین بی ان ابجیکشن واز دی ڈریم آف محمد فالس اور رانگ And the dream of a prophet cannot be false. It be wrong. What does it mean? You know, one is apparent strength and one is the real strength. The real strength of that army was very small. Why? Because most of them who were forced to come there due to their chieftains, in their hearts of hearts, they believed that Muhammad was on the right path. They knew who was Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa They knew who are his companions, Abu Bakr Siddiq, a person like him, Osman, a person like him. These people, you know, morally, character-wise, their personalities, the silent majority knows everything. It remains silent because of lack of courage. They can't say it out. They can't stand, take the courage of standing and saying to the chiefs, you know, people at the helm of affairs, you are wrong. They are silent. But although they are silent, they are not blind. They see. They knew the difference between Muhammad and Abu Jahl. Who Abu Jahl is? What is his character? What is his personality? And who Muhammad is? What is his character? So they knew it. So actually, their, their urge to fight, that was not strong. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed him the real, the real strength, you know. The apparent strength was something else. 1,000 marching with drums beating and everything and you'd pomp and show and all the, all the show you know there. But the real strength, the heart to fight. If you think you are on the right path, your strength is something else. If you think you are fighting for the right cause, for the just cause, your strength is something else. And if you are self-defeated within your own conscience, well, I am not going for the correct cause. I have to go. Because this Abu Jahl, you know, he, he wants me to go. It's something else, sort of mercenaries. So Allah showed to the Prophet ﷺ that the real strength, you know, is very little. Is yurika hum Allah fi manamika qaleedan walau araka hum kaseeran lafashiltum. Had he shown to you that they are very large in number, لفشل تم او مسلم یو وڈ ہیو لاسٹ کریج ولا تنازا تم فلا مسٹ ہیو کارلڈ اباؤٹ دی میٹر ویدر وی شوڈ فائٹ اور ناٹ ویدر وی شوڈ یو نو اوائڈ دی دس کمبیٹ اور ناٹ ولا کن اللہ سلم بٹ اللہ سبحان و تعالی سیو یو ان نہ علی مم بذات سدو ہی ویری ول نوز وٹ ایور از دیئر ان دی ہارٹس آف دی پیپل Not only to the Prophet Allah made this army of, of Quraysh little in the eyes of the Muslims also. Although they were 313, but you know, as if they saw they are not very, very many in number. That was also a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Is yurikumuhum is iltaqaytum fi ayunukum qaleelan wa yuqallilakum fi ayunahim. And he had belittled you also in their eyes. Why? Because Allah wanted that there should be the combat. Nobody should go away now. Fighting should take place. That was the decision of Allah. Allah wanted to make it Yom al-Furqan. And to Allah return all the matters for final decision. Nothing can happen without his permission. Everything is referred to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya ayu ladhin amanu iza laqeetum fiyatan fasbutu. Oh you who believe. When you have to meet a host of the army. An army of the enemy. Fasbutu. Be firm. Stand firm. Vaskuru Allah kaseeran. And remember Allah. Continue zikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To the maximum. So that you may triumph. 
and obey Allah and His Messenger. Wala tanazau. Don't quarrel with each other. Fatafshalu. Then you will definitely, if there is difference of opinion and this, you know, this dragging and of the proposals and pushing the proposal and going on discussing these things and those things, if you continue those things, fatafshalu. You will lose the courage. You will lose the courage. But tashabari hokum. And your power will depart. Wasbiru and have patience. In Allah, Masabirin. What happened at Ohud? One year later, there was a dispute. The Prophet had ordered fifty archers not to leave that place, but thirty-five out of them disobeyed. They disobeyed, although they had, you know, justified. And I also think we shall read, but we have already discussed it in Surah Al Imran. They thought that the Prophet only meant in case of defeat. Even if you saw all of us killed, and that the birds are eating our flesh, even then you don't move from here. So they are good. Now this is an absolutely different circumstances. We have got the victory. Why should we stay here now? But the local commander insisted, nothing doing, don't move. So they defied the local commander. And the saying of the Prophet is, Man atani faqad ata Allah, wa man asani faqad asa Allah, wa man ata amiri faqad ata ani, wa man asa amiri faqad asa ani. Whosoever obeys me, he obeys Allah. Whosoever disobeys me, he disobeys Allah. Whosoever obeys Allah, a person appointed by me, an Amir, appointed by me, he obeys me actually. And whosoever disobeys a person, an Amir appointed by, by me, he disobeys me actually. So that was a disobedience, a dispute. So that happened. لَقَدْ صَدَقَكُمُ اللَّهُ وَعَدَهُ إِسْتَحُسُونَهُمْ بِإِذْنِي حَتَّى إِذَا فَشِلْتُمْ وَتَنَازَاتُمْ فِي الْأَمْرِ The same two words appear in that ayah of Surah Al Ibrahim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had fulfilled his promise, had given you the victory. But when you disputed about the matter, and you disobeyed, then you know, we turned the tables on you. It was a punishment. Ya ayyuhal ladhin amanu iza laqeetum fiyatan fasbutu wa skunu allaha kasir allaha lakum tuflihoon wa ati'u allaha wa rasoolahu. Now these are also General instructions for all time to come. Whenever you will again try to establish the deen of Allah, the same circumstances will come. You will have to be in a party, Hezbollah, disciplined party. If you don't keep the discipline of the party, you will be the losers. If Allah didn't condone even the mistake of the Sahaba, 35 disobeyed. And as a punishment, 70 martyred. Even the prophet injured, his teeth broken. Allah didn't condone your mistake. We have to give you the lesson so that you have, you are careful in the future. So, what will happen to us if we don't care about the discipline? What will happen? Nothing will happen. What happened to these Afghan Mujahideen? Because they were not under one leader, one commander. They lost the fight that they had, that they had you know, victory over it. The turning point was Jalalabad. Because all the groups tried to take the credit of the victory of Jalalabad. There was a chaos. They were defeated. And that was the turning point. So that is important. Discipline. Listen and obey. The discipline of an army. There is not to reason why. There is but to do and die. Listen to your commanders. Your Amir. And you have to act upon it. Only if it is against the deen of Allah. It is haram. Then you are allowed to. To disobey. يا أيها الذين آمنوا إذا لقيتم فيتنفسوا واسكروا الله كثيرا لعلكم تفلحون 
وطیع اللہ و رسول ولا تنازع فتفشل و تذہب علیہ کو مصبر ان اللہ بات صابرین ویریلی اللہ از ود ود دوز پیپل ہو ہیو پیشنس اینڈ فور بیئرنس دیٹ از اللہ اللہ ہیلپ از ود دیم 